All right, so for today's video, I wanted to do a market watch. I haven't done one in a while, and I figured it would be fun to talk about like Mega Tins and decks that are seeing play, and maybe some cards that didn't see a reprint in the Mega Tins, and just to sort of like check out what's going on with the market. So if you like me doing these types of videos, make sure to like the video, and also let me know if there are any cards I should be on the lookout for, or maybe some suggestions you have for people to either get rid of some cards or pick them up. So, um, yeah, you know, if you if you enjoy, of course, make sure to like it, like I said. So we have like some of the best sellers to go through. And also like I purposely like put a couple interesting cards here on different tabs that we can take a look at and sort of see what's going on with them. So for the first page, here we have the best sellers. And naturally, most of them are going to be from the Mega Tins. So the number one selling card is actually Psychic and Punisher, which is interesting, but it's literally around two euros for a generic monster that's like really good in certain decks. For other cards, I really love that the entire adventure engine is now fairly cheap. I mean, fairly cheap. It's literally dirt cheap is what I wanted to say. Uh, Enchanters over here is around a euro or something like that. And taking a look at the Bishio cards, we have Lubelion at around 10 euros. And um, yeah, it's it, it dropped to about 11 or 12 euros. And from what I'm hearing, this is probably like one of the most expensive cards in the tins. So as you can see, everything is pretty uh, cheap in the tins, which is obviously amazing for some of these reprints. Now, Let's switch to the grid view and let's continue. Uh, Magnamut and also Druid Swarm down here, you're gonna be able to see when I scroll to it, if I can find it, is around four euros. Okay, I've gone way too far. We're gonna see a see a Druid Swarm somewhere down there. But yeah, Magnamut is around four or five euros. Regulus around five. Garuda is still holding a price at around eight or nine euros, which is very similar to what it was on the release. And um, the runic engine is now so cheap, which is great for anyone trying to pick it up. But this might signify that it may be getting hit. You know, tip was much, much more expensive. And now it's around three euros, which is great. And Fenrir, I think, is a very good investment right now. It is around 10 euros if we find like someone that has an English play set or more. You know, it's around nine to 10 euros over here. And... um this card like if it doesn't get hit you're not gonna nag uh, it's still something that you have you might just get rid of it if it, like it gets hit to one or something just keep a copy or hold on to the play set because like i said you haven't lost a ton of money by getting three copies and then if two of them get hit it's still not that bad and if it doesn't get hit um two things might happen it might either go up in price or it just remains the same and then you're gonna want to pick them up anyway so i think fenrir would be a good investment and looking at some of the other cards cartes is great for Branded because this was like the money card of the strategy. Here we have Dury Swarm that I talked about around four euros. And also Labyrinth is another engine that, uh, or archetype I should say, uh, that significantly dropped in price. But we can take a look at another card from, from the archetype that I talked about already in some of uh, like one of my, my older videos. And I will get to it, but let's scroll down here. Let's see if there is anything worth mentioning. The Flunder card dropped in price, naturally. <laughs> and also some of the scare claw stuff, which is great if you want to pick it up for Monodium. And uh, other than that, this is really cool. The Blackwing Armor Master looks amazing. Uh, other Labyrinth cards, like for the most part, you know, there is some Exosister stuff over here. Martha also got a reprint. Which is really cool because like Martha was from Power of the Elements and got a reprint, whereas a bunch of cards from Power of the Elements did not. So we will go through some of these cards later, but yeah, for the most part, cards down here aren't that interesting anymore. I guess the Requiem is uh, definitely signifying what's happening with the meta, but I did want to mention the Big Welcome Labyrinth, which is the only one I have not put up in one of the tabs, which I apologize for, but this is what I was talking about. Everything in Labyrinth got reprinted, but the big welcome didn't because it's from Photon Hypernova. And right now, if you look at some of the copies, it's around 20 euros, <laughs> which is much, much more than what it used to be, especially upon release. Like if we look at it over here, it's around nine, but I, if I remember correctly, Eva, it was like even less than, than 10 when it came out. And uh, looking through some of the other cards, I wanted to talk about Tour Guide because obviously Unchained is like so popular. And here we have some of the OCG printings. Also Tour Guide has like 37 versions. And I guess all of these ones from OCG as well 
um, you know, could be counted. So it has like around 50 copies or something like that, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, if we look at some of the tour guide printings, like mainly, I guess we can, there's the Duelist Saga, but I guess we can take a look at the gold printing. It's like one of the most recent ones. And um, if we scroll down here and try to find the play set, we're going to have to keep going. And uh, over here, I, I guess we have one play set, someone with around 200, 300 sales, which is fine, but it is Italian and not first edition, and it's around five euros. So our tour guides are around six or seven on average, and they are going up. And that's for like a random copy, literally from a gold set. So um, yeah, I guess we can take a look at another one. But what I'm saying is, you know, tour guide is going up 100% with uh, Unchained being that popular. So yeah, like around five euros or six, um, you're gonna like for one copy you're gonna have to spend um, for pretty much any kind of version <laughs> pretty much any any tour guide you get yeah I guess draw is another one I wanted to mention this might be like old news because it's moving to people's side decks but it's still a very impactful card in some matchups even if you're only citing it so looking at tactical masters so it was the one year anniversary of tactical masters in August and now the copy of uh, like a random rare draw is around three years almost four let's try to find a place that so over here we have someone with okay 700 sales which is fair around three and a half euros for draw so it's like it's a fair price I think for a hand trap you have to own but oh my god look at the old one so when this came out I was already playing and I remember it being around 30 or 40 euros and now it's so expensive like compared to what it was uh, obviously Joel is such a staple card but I don't know it's just it's kind of funny to look at and also like the common one is again like look at this look at it <laughs> look at this spike over here I think it's so funny and it's around four to five euros for a common one from the structure deck so if you got the structure decks you you blast which is great. Okay, Pelerino is another one which is just hilarious to me. It was around 10 to 15 euros when I was talking about tier limits being a budget deck, but that was a lot of months ago <laughs> at this point. Um, it was kind of like around the time, you know, tier got hit, nobody was really on the tier hype train anymore. And now when people started to see how much potential tier actually has, you know, there was like a random spike here, then it dropped quite significantly. And I remember it was around 15 and now it is steadily going up with power of the elements not receiving reprints in the tin so around 35 euros for one planet which i'm not certain how much it used to be but it was around 40 to 50 euros for one copy if i'm not mistaken when tier was very popular might have been more but yeah right now um you're gonna have to spend around 36 to 37 euros for one single copy if you're trying to cop a playset so yeah do with that info what you will but look at sprite blue again power of the elements not receiving reprints and you can see sort of a spike over here right when tins um, you know are coming out so it is around 18 to 19 euros for a card that might be getting hit this is a lot because someone picking up sprite right now is gonna have to spend like 60 to 70 euros for three copies and then um it might get hit and you're nagging a ton like i'm not certain what's gonna happen if they don't hit it it might push you know in a future product since they're gonna want to reprint it at some point in time i'm not certain what's gonna happen now i wanted to talk about the rescue ace hydrant as well rescue ace has so much potential it is quite consistently topping it just won a regional second place was rescue ace uh, on Saturday, we had a regional like around my area. It also won. And uh, with the new Snake Eye support, Rescuous is going to be really nice. And uh, yeah, just amazing defenders. Obviously, as Side said, Hydrant is going to, um, you know, hold a prize that's very similar to Labyrinth and uh, Runic and pretty much everything that comes out from, you know, on a, like in a Side set, um, like the adventure stuff as well. Pearly, another good, great example. <laughs> like everything that's really meta right now is from a Side set. Uh, 45 years for a playset or like like 40 40 to 45 euros for um a single copy of a playset of rescue Ace hydrant so what you could have done is you had to get rescue ace upon release some people did uh, some of them also got rid of rescue ace right now when it, there's all the hype and also there might be more hype uh, come age of overlord but if you got it done and you're playing it this was like the best move you could have you could have like done because it's almost, it's almost 50 euros it's kind of insane and for the last card uh, i wanted to talk about abominations prison like to sort of like stay on the topic of 
Unchained with Tour Guide and also Abominations Prison, this deck is sort of becoming not so budget anymore. And I think they're gonna have to reprint it. Like 20, 20 mega tins, and this card was around 15 to 17 euros. It was holding a price because of only two printings, but now it's doubled in price. So if you got this early, if you were sort of like, suspecting Unchained to become much better with the support then that's great if you kept it also amazing but if you have to pick it up right now it's kind of like I don't know it kind of feels bad a little bit so you can do what you want you might just wait for a reprint hope one comes but we'll see what happens uh, I think like 30 to 33 euros for one card isn't that bad bad for Unchained especially because I don't think the deck is like um, in the danger of getting hit. It just seems like a very fair deck, takes skill to pilot, so I wouldn't say it's horrible to invest in the deck. Maybe you already own like Tour Guide or have the engine from before, like I said. I think the deck has like a ton of potential and uh, it just seems cool. So if you want to pick something up that feels fairly safe, and spend around 100 to 150 euros for the entire deck, I don't think that's that bad. Now, you might disagree with me, but I'm not saying it's horrible. But if it gets a reprint, all of us are going to be much happier. So if you enjoyed this um, card market watch, <laughs> please let me know. And also, like I said, if you have any of your own ideas for cards I, I should be looking at. Oh my god, I forgot one card I wanted to talk about. And I did not put it on a on a tab. I wanted to mention Kurikara, another Power of the Elements card that I wanted to check out. So yes, look at this, around 40 euros for Kurikara, which used to be seven. That's what I'm going to leave you with. And uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, comment, sub, ding the bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.